with the closure of the 80 funded projects, we felt it was the moment to understand the overall impact of the program, what we have achieved collectively across border for a more competitive, uh, climate resilient, uh, innovative and inclusive Mediterranean. We developed this um, positive med campaign, which is based uh, on a visually engaging material that was uh, disseminated exclusively through social media. That was uh, a choice uh, of the program because we wanted also uh, to reach out larger audiences, younger audiences that uh, do not uh, know us. It's, um, let's say, uh, for us, it's also a tribute. We're paying a tribute to the enduring and relentless efforts of our projects and the people behind the projects to make the Mediterranean a better place to live. And we're also highlighting the crucial support of the European Union to that kind of projects which really focus on joining forces uh, across both shores of the Mediterranean area. The program was very successful in supporting a large number of SMEs, over 800 in particular, startup uh, managed by young people and women. Uh, and we've been supporting these startups so they are more resilient and uh, competitive on, on global markets. It's difficult when you are a young entrepreneur, you need a lot of support. So our projects have been really able to deliver for these startups in very interesting uh, sectors like agro-food, digital transition, or the fashion industries, where industry and textile industry, where we have witnessed very, very interesting uh, projects, really supporting young designers in turning their business models into uh, something more climate neutral and more circular. Sustainable tourism is yet another sector where I believe that we have achieved excellent results with over 120 new products and experience developed by our projects in all the countries uh, involved in this pro program to boost off-season tourism and uh, to develop a tourism that actually benefits to the environment and benefit to the local communities. This is very important, a positive impact on the territories, but also for the people. The skills, the question, the issue of skills for the people, for labor inclusion, for professionalization, is so important in the, Mediterranean, uh, in the Mediterranean area. So I'm very happy to say that our projects have been able to train over 18,100 people, mostly, again, young people and women, but also people with disability. So they are better equipped to find a job uh, on, on, the, on the labor market. The results uh, achieved uh, in the environmental sectors for me are just exceptional, really. Let me mention over 140 pilot uh, uh, infrastructure, small infrastructure for better energy efficiency of uh, public buildings, uh, of uh, community infrastructure like schools, uh, also uh, a lot of uh, small infrastructure for uh, better water management, for reuse of treated wastewater, for irrigation, benefiting directly farmers in Jordan, in Palestine, where uh, water uh, availability is an issue. Just like the name of the campaign, Positive Med, we wanted to send a very strong message to uh, the world that uh, about the Mediterranean. It's true, it's a very complex area marked by uh, multifaceted uh, challenges, but our message is that we need and we are positive because when people join forces across borders behind any differences, we can achieve a lot. The investment was over 200 million euros for this programming period. So in our opinion, uh, there is an added value in investing for cooperation in the Mediterranean, not only to solve some issues at local level, to face together some challenges, and really to deliver for communities and territories, create some opportunities, but also because uh, we have a better understanding of each other uh, across the Mediterranean. I mean, 700 organizations, thanks to this program, have been working together. It's a community, I guess, of almost uh, 3,000 people that now see a problem collectively. And this is a very important message.